G'day everyone and welcome to Australian Model Railway News for October 2024. We're going to take a look at all the news announcements and updates that have happened in the Australian Model Railway manufacturing industry for the month. And don't forget to stay through to the end so you can find out about all the currently announced exhibitions, open days and conventions happening for the remainder of this year and into the future. Australian Model Railway News is made possible by our sponsors. Elevate your model railway or architectural projects with trackside models, where quality meets precision. The Australian-made laser-cut structures are precisely crafted, ensuring every detail is captured flawlessly. At Trackside Models, their mission is to bring you top-notch buildings in scale format at prices that won't break the bank, and they're proud to offer Australian-made and designed models. It's their way of celebrating the beauty of Australian architecture and supporting local talent. Experience a difference with Trackside Models, where quality, affordability and Australian craftsmanship converge. Explore their collection today and bring your miniature world to life like never before. And don't forget, you can get 10% off all orders using the code WILLJAMESRAILWAYS at checkout. Buck and Bull Model Trains is the home of DCC in Australia. Retailing a wide range of budget and premium DCC decoders, as well as a wide range of accessories for N and HO scales. Buck and Bull stocks Zimo, ESU and Lace DCC, as well as Sprog DCC programmers and very soon DCC EX command stations designed here in Australia. Buck and Bull offers installation services in N and 009 scale as well as others, with many different installation options available, but please contact them directly for more information. Buck and Bull also carries a wide range of DCC and DCC sound pre-fitted gopher model locomotives. And in addition to this, they will be the exclusive retailer of the factory sound fitted N scale 38 class locomotives due to arrive in September. And currently you can select which 38 you would like. All you need to do is put your email in and be notified when the stock arrives. And the news is also made possible by the Scale Modeler Supply. Take a look at their vast array of high quality paints and accessories meticulously crafted to bring your model projects to life. And enjoy 10% off all orders with code WILLJAMESRAILWAY at checkout. And lastly, the news is also made possible by the Patreons on Patreon. And if you'd like to gain early access to videos on this channel while supporting their production, head over to patreon.com slash WILLJAMESRAILWAYS now. The news is also brought to us by the Warrnambool Model Railway Exhibition, a fantastic regional model railway exhibition being held on the 11th and 12th of January in Warrnambool, Victoria, with over 20 layouts and trade stands in attendance. To kick off this month's news, the Gopher and Buck and Bull models N-Scale 38 class locomotives have arrived and now available at most model railway and hobby shops. The sound fitted models by Buck and Bull are now available directly from their website, priced at $475. They've been posting them out over the last few weeks, but they said you'll have to be quick to avoid missing out as some numbers are already quite low, and once they're sold out, there will unfortunately be no more. However, if you do miss out and have pre-ordered from another hobby shop for a DC model, they also have the MS590 Next 18 sound decoders available with the same sound file loaded for $215, which are also available on their website. Adding to that, they said that locomotives number 2, 3, 4 and 5 are very low on stock and all the black unstreamlined 38s are quite limited. So let's dive into these stunning new 38 classes from Gopher and Buck and Bull models. Jared from Buck and Bull has kindly lent us four sound fitted models, including the unstreamlined 3815 in black and red, the general service green 3813, and the streamlined beauties 3803 and the iconic 3801 in its as preserved green circa 2021. In short, these models are fantastic. The attention to detail here is mind blowing, especially for this scale, easily comparable to what you would expect in a HO scale model. Each locomotive features a host of separately applied details like whistles, a generator and boiler railings. Although the cab detail is part of the body casting, it's perfectly executed for its size. The tender is permanently attached so there's no fuss with coupling and it even has plastic coal filled to complete the look. Although personally I'd be replacing that with some real coal loads, although I do understand this is there to hide the speakers. The paint and line work are impressively sharp, a real feat of a locomotive of this size. Each model comes with a die-cast metal chassis, body, driving wheels and tender chassis, giving them some nice heft which helps them with great adhesion to the rails. They're powered by a coilless motor, so the operation is silky smooth and almost completely silent. Plus I had no issue getting these models to roll at speed step 1 without any problems, even on less than clean track. 
thanks to electrical pickups on all driving wheels and tender wheels, along with a stay alive that's fitted to the DCC models. Each loco features directional lighting. Although the red marker lights are only in the tender and are DCC only. As well as that, they're also equipped with micro trains couplers. Out of the box, they're fitted to the tender, although on the engine, you'll need to put it on as you see fit. Also in the box come some windows if you decide to fit them to your new 38. Now these particular ones are an exclusive to Buck and Bull, fitted with a DCC sound decoder complete with a 15 by 11 millimeter sugar cube speakers in a large enclosure, and frankly, the sound is outstanding. These are, of course, loaded with authentic 38 class sounds, including their iconic whistles and galloping chuff that kicks in at higher speeds, and it is seriously impressive for such a compact mode. Now, if you are after one of these, they are only available on Buck and Bull's website now, and they're priced at $475 each. And I can only stress that you keep in mind that these are limited numbers and when they're gone, they're gone. So a huge congratulations to everyone involved who has produced this outstanding model and easily one of the best models that I've seen this year. Scale Model Co have announced that coming soon to their Oz Kits range are the HO Scale 1960s Ford F100 Ambulance, Paddy Wagon and Ute Kits adding that these kits will require painting and some minor assembly, and all the kits include vac form windows and are priced at $22.95 per kit, and will be available directly from them both online and in-store. OnTrack Models released another run of their New South Wales 45-foot Louvre vans and banana vans. These have arrived and are available both direct from OnTrack Models online shop and their retail network, with three packs of banana vans priced at $230 and the nine packs of Louvre vans are priced at 200 And personally, I would suggest that if you have been waiting for the rerun of these to move quickly as the last lot did sell out. The Train Girl has a new kit out, the Australian Ruins Chimney. The chimney comes in HO scale, and the chimney is modelled off a typical Australian freestanding chimney that you'll find right across country paddocks and small towns. The resin print is designed by Mark Holcroft of Model Works, and is available on her website and is priced at $15 plus postage. She's also made a video on this mini diorama, which is also available to watch on her Facebook page. Australian model trees have a number of new gum trees out and will have them for sale at the Bayswater Sale Day happening in Melbourne on the 2nd of November, with all remaining stock being added to my website after that weekend. Along the track models launched a new kit at the Sunbury Model Railway Exhibition, which is the Buller Presbyterian Church. Designed and manufactured by Along the Tracks, this design is inspired by the deconsecrated Presbyterian or Uniting Church outside Buller in Victoria. The church in Mans a Gothic revival and is an early one and is distinguished by its detailing in the bluestone. The church was erected in late 1858 or early 1959 and the bluestone manse is of an unknown date. Constructed of random coarse bluestone and a slate roof, the simple church is distinguished by its bell cone pinnacles, tracery windows, and bluestone detailing. The dimensions for this kit in HO scale are 120mm wide by 146mm deep and 181mm high, and the kit is quite easy to put together. This kit is available to purchase at exhibitions and by email. Russell and Foundry have a snail beach hopper in 16mm scale, which has many of the same features of the 7 8th version, with opening doors. The kit contains the body doors, the axle boxes and the screws, and these models can be assembled as 32mm gauge and have the buffers integrated into the body and are priced at $75. They've also released a range of Fox type bogies with 50 and 60mm wheelbases and coupler, non-coupler options. Most versions can support either 32 or 45mm wheel sets and they're happy to work with customers to meet their specific requirements. The kit contents are FMD printed center and fixed side frame, loose side frames and locking pins, and is $20 a pair. A new release from Russell is the 7 8 Sugar Cane Wagon, and these can be fitted with either 32 or 45mm axle boxes. The kit contains the main body, two additional beams, axle boxes, link and pin couplings, and dumb buffers, and the kit is priced at $50. Upcoming, they'll have a version of their Chorus Coach 17, as it is running on the Tarlaclin Railway and will be available in 7 8 and 16 mm scales, and these should be released next month as an FMD printed kit with easy assembly, 
removable roofs, opening doors, and optional buffer beams, depending on the customer's requirements, although price is yet to be confirmed. As well as that, they also have coming up a 16 mil scale version of their four ton truck, featuring opening doors and with buffers integrated into the body, with pricing to be confirmed. A new manufacturer has entered the market, beautiful little buildings. Richard and Patsy are a couple of passionate creators based in Bundaberg, Queensland, who love making awesome 3D printed buildings. When they couldn't find the structures they wanted for their model railway, they decided to make their own, and all are modeled on real buildings found on Google Street View. Their web shop lets them share what they create for themselves with everyone else. And after all, if they needed it, they figured that others would too. Richard handles the technical stuff like designing and 3D printing all the details, while Patsy brings everything to life with her painting and finishing touches. Their range is always evolving, and as they create new pieces for themselves, they'll also be adding it to the collection, inspired by the exciting architecture they discover from all corners of the world. Their current lineup of buildings feature Queensland buildings like the iconic Queensland homes in a few different configurations goods sheds, the Glen Alpine Station and the Cream Shed, as well as shops, palm tree, a war memorial and a rotunda. All of their buildings come with laser cut clear windows and sticky backed laser cut frames. These are designed to fit perfectly into the recesses of their buildings. They have their website up and running, which is beautifullittlebuildings.com.au, as well as a Facebook page. An update from Paul's 3D. With the sad loss of the Euroa Good Shed, Paul has created a model version of the shed. And the shed is very similar to the Beaufort Good Shed, but with different foundation stones. They've also launched a new 30 foot Good Shed. And this type of Good Shed was found in many places all over the Victorian railways, including Lake Boga. They also made the Stony Creek Trestle Bridge down near Noa Nawa. This bridge has been one they've always wished to make, and it's now possible with 3D printing. They plan to create this into a layout, and they hope to have it out by 2026. The bridge is made in parts, and the whole kit, or just part of the kit, can be done on request. From the Stony Creek Trestle Bridge, they've also made two smaller trestle bridges, support and deck. And these look great on any layout, and they'll soon be available on their website. They've also received a large delivery of decals. This will see a restock of many popular decals, as well as a few new ones. The first new decals are the N-Class Diesel decals, along with the Vinelander name decals and other decal sheets will come as well. And to finish off, you can catch Paul at the Yarra Valley Model Group Sale on the 2nd of November in Bayswater, Melbourne. They look forward to seeing lots of you there. Container manufacturer DCM Models are releasing a new container. Their initial container to be released will be the Cube 40 foot, featuring two distinct container numbers. And these are expected to arrive before the end of the year. Although there has been a couple of corrections that need to be made between the pictured samples and the production run. This run will see 400 made between the two different container numbers. They're still waiting on the final price, but it does look like they'll come in around $20 per container. So if you are after any of these, please contact them directly by Facebook or email, and they'll have a website coming soon. Ixion Models posted a video from their factory of the first engineering prototype of the upcoming HO scale Victorian Railways A2 class steam locomotive and featured here is the preserved locomotive. They added that it should be noted that this is running around a 438mm radius curve, which is quite impressive for a locomotive of this type. Closing out that they have no firm idea when this will be released, but it's getting closer. Dogspike Models posted some photos of some South Australian Railways kits being released throughout November, adding that some of these will still need a few small changes, although others are good to go. Featuring some end and centre load suburban passenger cars, these will be available in two models, with and without end steps. Baggage car versions will also be available and will be released in early November, as well as that Bluebirds. These will require to make chassis. The Barossa and V-Line sets will also be available, and these are set to be released in late November and early December, with crew car versions available in early 2025. As well as that, they also have a baby health car available on request. Six Coupled Engineering is preparing a number of new releases in November for the Aussie N-Scale modeler. Alternatively, highly detailed underframes for the N-Trains injection molding GLX and HLX fan kits will be made available in twin packs. These require a separate purchase of the N-Trains wagon kit to use their highly detailed body and the finished product is designed to suit modern modelers using body mounted couplers. Alongside this is packs of N-Scale passenger carriage detail parts, packs of Fentler or torpedo style roof vents, plus a set of buffers, 
air pipes, handbrake wheels, and a few alternative types of roof vents. The pack of Feltler style vents includes more than enough parts to detail a single New South Wales style carriage, with spare parts provided to thwart the inevitable tiny part that pings off onto the bench. The N scale SCT, PGBY, and PBSY vans have now been printed in a large batch, creating a huge amount of cleanup work. All things going well, these should be on sale by the end of November. And to cap it all off, an exciting new product is under development the New South Wales FS and BS carriages, and rebuild derivatives as highly detailed kits in N scale. An image of a trial print of these carriage sides for the rebuilt MFS, BS and FS carriages has been provided, with more details to come in December. Trainwell is exclusive dealer for six coupled engineering at their store in Bay Street, Brighton or online at trainworld.net.au. News from SDS is they had samples of the K classes at the Sunbury exhibition, saying that they are due very soon. As well as that, the New South Wales PTC pneumatic discharge cement hoppers are now available at at least Australian modeler, and I have to assume other retailers soon. Decision Models took to social media, announcing a HO scale New South Wales 45 class locomotive rerun, this time with DCC sound. Decision have said that these will be arriving in mid-2025, and this rerun of New South Wales 45 class locomotives, with the option of factory fitted DCC sound for the very first time. These will be equipped with ESU lock sound 5 decoders and Decision van to sound speakers, with 18 new numbers available across 7 different liveries, plus 3 numbers from the first production run being offered again over 2 liveries. Pre-orders are open now, and they've advised to lock in your order early as they are only producing 50 of each model on this production run, and the pre-order pricing will end on the 31st of December in 2024. And right at the end of the month, a decision added to social media, the HO scale NPHH cement hopper pre-orders are set to end on the 30th of November this year, which will see you save around $40 per four car pack, saying that their factory will ship these by the end of November and should arrive by Christmas and the order forms are still available for download on Ascision's website. They also added that shipping from the first week of November from their factory will be the HO scale CLP and CLF class locomotives. And then shipping in two weeks will be the MGFH flower hoppers. And then at the end of November, we'll see the HO scale deb sets. And they said that arriving next week will be the NHHF NGHF grain hoppers and the XPT passenger sets. Plus a couple of unannounced models that should arrive before the end of the year. So they said to start saving your Christmas cash, as it's going to be a very busy Christmas period for Ascision new releases. Late on Tuesday night, Decision took to social media to announce that they had the second and third series X classes in development and that the pre-orders are available now. In regards to the Series 2, they've said that this is an all new model with six different body versions being tooled to cover all six liveries on offer. From Victorian Railways Blue, V-Line Orange and Grey, V-Line Freight Orange and Grey, Freight Victoria, Freight Australia, Pacific National, and eight different liveries for the third series, including Pacific National, Queensland National, and SCT Red, White, and Black. Both of these will be available in DC or DCC sound equipped with a factory installed ESU Lock Sound 5 21 pin decoder and a Cision van to sound speakers, loaded with genuine EMD 16645E engine sounds, which they said will make this model scream on your layout as it's one of the best sounding engines ever made. As well as that, all other standard Cision features are included, like brass air horns, etched mirrors, windscreen wipers, see-through etched grills, all-wheel drive and electrical pickup, five pole skew wound motors, twin brass flywheels, heavy die cast chassis, operating headlights, marker lights, number box lights, and finely tooled plastic body and parts. We've said that the pre-order discount is available those who pre-order early, saving you $40 per loco. Pre-order cutoff dates will be advised closer to the project delivery, with the pre-order price currently standing at $295 for a DC model and $425 for DCC and sound. And they said they're due in late 2025. Also to add to this, like all the runs of their locomotives lately, they'll be limited to only 50 models of each version being produced. As well as saying that the tooling samples have been received and are now on display at Australian Modeler and that their factory is now working on the painted samples with the order forms and further information on these locomotives on their website now.
So I guess that does beg the question, will we see a rerun of the Series 1 X classes or possibly even XR and XRB Locos? Let me know if that would be something that you'd be interested in seeing. And there's nothing like a last minute surprise. At midnight on the 31st of October, they announced the New South Wales Railways Mark II and Mark III 44 class locomotives, adding the pre-orders are now open. They've said that these are all new versions of their super popular 44 class with an additional six different body versions tooled to cover eight different liveries on offer. Those being Indian Red with Red Lining, Indian Red Austerity, Reverse, Candy, Red Terror, Freight Rail, Freight Rail Grey Ghost and SSR. Both DC and DCC equipped models will be available with the DCC version coming factory installed with ESU Lock Sound 5 21 pin decoders and Decision Vanda Sound speakers playing genuine Alco 12 251B engine sounds, and all other standard Decision features are included. The pre order discount is available for those who pre order early, saving about $40 per loco, with the pre order price set at $295 for DC and $425 for DCC sound, with this release only seeing 50 models of each version being produced. And they said that we should see production samples within the coming months all going well. And these are due for a release in late 2025. In my own news, I hope to see lots of you at the Bayswater Sale Day happening, well, potentially this weekend, on the 2nd of November in Melbourne. I'll have lots of Australian model trees available, as well as a few other bits and pieces. And of course, whatever doesn't sell will wind up on my website, which will be live as of the 4th of November. On that, on the 1st of December, we are also having another public Fremo 9 meetup. So if you are interested in the modular model railway group we've got going in Melbourne, Come along to the Amra Club Rooms where we're going to have a little demonstration upstairs. As well as that, the Steam Rail 2025 calendar is now available and is available right now to order from the Steam Rail website. This year it features three of my photos that I took throughout the year and it's a great way to support Heritage Railways down here in Victoria. Now let's take a look at all the currently announced exhibitions, conventions and open days happening for the remainder of 2024 and into the future. On the 2nd of November in Bayswater, Melbourne, there will be a sale day happening at the Bayswater Scout Hall. Epping Model Railway Club will be holding an open day on Saturday the 9th of November at their club rooms in Epping, New South Wales. On Saturday the 9th of November in the ACT, the ACT Model Railway Society will be having a bring and buy sale. On Sunday the 10th of November in Melbourne, the VMRS will be running the Prototype Modelers Forum with registration open now. In Victoria, the Bendigo Model Railroaders will be holding a second-hand sale day on Saturday the 16th of November at their club rooms in Bendigo. In Shepparton, Victoria, there will be a come and try day at the Goulburn Valley Model Railway Club's club rooms in Shepparton, Victoria. On November 10th, the Railway Modelers of Queensland will be having an open day and buy and sell day. The New England Convention will be held on the 16th and 17th of November at the Armadale Bowling Club in New South Wales. There'll be a model railway and hobby show in Salisbury, South Australia on the 30th of November and the 1st of December. On the 1st of December in Melbourne, Fremo Night Australia will be holding a public meetup and run day at the AMRA Club Rooms in Melbourne. Epping Model Railway Club in Sydney will be holding a model railway market day on the 30th of November. In Queensland, there'll be a train and hobby exhibition on the 7th and 8th of December in Brendale. The Epping Model Railway Club will be holding an open day at their club rooms in Epping, New South Wales on the 11th of January. In Victoria, the Warrnambool Model Railway Club will be holding their annual exhibition on the 11th and 12th of January. On the 18th and 19th of January, there will be a model train show at the Cow Senior Citizen Centre on Phillip Island, Victoria. In Victoria on the 25th and 26th of January, the 50th Carayo Model Railway Exhibition will be held. In Store Victoria, there'll be a model train show happening on the 15th and 16th of February. Over the March Labor Day long weekend in Victoria, the Model Railway Craft and Hobby Exhibition will be happening in Kyneton. On the 15th and 16th of March, the Sandown Train and Hobby Show will be held. In the ACT, on the 29th and 30th of March, the Canberra Model Train Show will be held at the UC High School, Kayleen. In Victoria on May 17th and 18th, the Latrobe Valley Model Railway Association will hold their exhibition in Morwell. The Albury Model Railway Show will be held on the 17th and 18th of May in New South Wales. The Hills Model Railway Society will be holding their exhibition on May 30th and June 1st at a new venue in Clarendon. The 2025 Adelaide Model Railway Show will be back on again over the June long weekend. In Victoria on the 12th and 13th of July, the Storm Model Railway Exhibition will be back on again. 
The Epping Model Railway Club will be holding an open day on the 12th of July in Epping, New South Wales. In Sydney, the North Shore Railway Modellers will be holding their exhibition on the 19th and 20th of July in DY. In Goulburn, New South Wales, on the 30th and 31st of August, the 2025 Goulburn Model Railway Show will be back on again. And after this year, I certainly think it's worth going again. In Queensland, the Brisbane Model Train Show will be on again on the 20th and 21st of September, with a new venue to be announced. On October 4th and 5th, the Shepparton Model Railway Exhibition will be happening in Shepparton, Victoria. A not-to-be-missed event is the Great Train Show, now happening on October 25th and 26th at the Rose Hill Racecourse in Sydney. And of course, if you are in a model railway club and you're having an event, don't hesitate to reach out and we can add it to the news. This month, we gave away a handful of N-Scale containers, thanks to Mark Jesser at Vision N-Scale, and here are the winners here. And if you are interested in getting your own N-Scale containers, you can head over to Mark's website, where he's got a large range of N-Scale containers and accessories, as well as some really nice shirts. Now, this month's giveaway is another big one. And a huge thanks to Ascision Models, who have given us two N-Scale 80 classes to give away. Now, one of these is DCC Sound Fitted, and one of these is DC. Now, to enter this competition, you've just got to head over to my website, hit the competitions tab, and there'll be a little form to fill out. And of course, there will be a question that you do have to answer and get correct to be in the running to win one of these models. A huge thanks to Ascision for giving us the opportunity to give away a couple of these brand new N-Scale 80 class locomotives. So there we go. That's all the news announcements and updates for October 2024. I hope you've all enjoyed the news and I'll be back again soon. So thank you all so much for watching. Hooroo!